I decided to try and quit drinking coffee. I'm gonna say for 30 days. Now you'd think that would make more sense if it was like the first of the month. What is it actually? It is. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. Oh my God, that's amazing. Right, so September, this is perfect. This is perfect. No coffee in September is what I'm gonna try and do. So I'm just gonna record a little bit every day. So this is day one without any coffee. I wanna try and sleep better and I wanna try and see if um, I feel any different or if I notice any difference. I don't, I have about two cups a day, but a weekend I go a bit wild with proper coffee in town in cafes and stuff. So the plan is to not have any coffee slash caffeine. So that means no tea, no coffee, no decaf coffee. And no chocolate because there's a lot of caffeine. In fact, there's more caffeine in chocolate, I think, than there is in, uh, in coffee. But I don't really eat chocolate that much anyway. So, um, let's see how we get on. This is day one and it is the 1st of September. I can't believe I didn't realise that. <laughs> well, it's second day. I did uh, sleep all right last night, but I think I woke up about five. Um, and then I was, I, I know what time it is just by the, the clock striking at the town hall. I hear it chime five times. And then I probably got out of bed around six. It's now 10 past eight. It's the second <laughs> of September. I don't, I think this is gonna be like a challenge. I don't think it's gonna be difficult. Um, I think I'm gonna have to wait a couple more days to sort of feel the main benefits of it. But I don't feel any, I don't feel like it's, I, I don't feel better or worse, to be honest. I think psychologically, I, I sort of logically, I feel better because I know I'm not taking drugs every day. But I don't think that I'm, but I'm not sleeping better yet or feeling tired of an evening better. But I think, I think you need like a fair few weeks to go through it yet. But again, so far so good. I'm not gonna do this every day, by the way. I'm just gonna sort of do the first few and then like drop in. And because I started on the first, I'll be able to say it. it's day X of not drinking coffee. Anyway, this is the second morning. And I'll probably see you tomorrow, maybe. Don't know yet, I'll think about it. All right, don't, don't pressure me, speak to you soon, bye. Still day two, it's uh, 10 to 11, and I can tell that my brain is annoyed that I'm not having coffee. I feel okay, but I'm, I'm struggling to focus, and I, I, I can imagine the taste of coffee, and my brain's just like, I know it's dying, and it's crying out for it, but I am really stubborn. So I'm not, I'm not doing it, there's no way I'm falling, but I can tell the, the onset of kind of a, a long-term withdrawal. You know, it's kind of like, oh, by now you've normally had one. What, what's going, why aren't you? Let's do it, let's do it. And I'm like, nope. So this will be a fun day. Friday the 3rd, and this is the time of day. Well, it's now half past eight, but normally first thing I do is get up and have a cup of coffee. I've got some jars of coffee I've put in the cupboard. And I did feel a bit ratty and a bit like withdrawal yesterday, but today I haven't got up and thought, oh, I need coffee first. It's uh, it's already making me feel better, and I do think I am sleeping better. I do wake up around five when I go to bed at midnight. Uh, it used to be four, between five and six, but like that just naturally happens. I could force myself back to sleep, obviously not on a work day, but so far so good. I think it's doing me good. Whether I'll keep it up forever, probably not, but a month, month is doable. Now I'm under the six, and um, I've got my first weekend out of the way. Obviously, you just saw that I've been in the kettle. It's a bit of a rubbish kettle anyway, to be honest. And it's not like, oh, I'm tempted to make a coffee while the kettle's there. I think after this little trial, it'll be a case of I'll only be drinking coffee when I'm out. Nice, decent coffee in town. Uh, or I might get to 30 days and think, you know, that's it forever. But I think sleep's still not amazing, but I still think I'm kind of overall coming off, coming off coffee, sort of the habit, like the physically making it, doing it, drinking it, tasting it. It's, there's there's all, not just like the chemical withdrawal, I think there's all kinds of withdrawal. Like right now, I want a hot drink, but I can't have anything because, hey, well, I don't have a kettle. <laughs> and it's just like, I just, what would I have that doesn't have caffeine in it? And, and at the end of the day, a herbal teas and whatnot, they're just not great. They don't, they just, it just tastes like, I, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. Absolutely doesn't do it for me. So anyway, um, onwards and upwards. I think overall I feel better for it. And there's a man um, outside stealing bits of weeds from the canal, which is a bit odd. Rip kettle, 2019, 2021. That's where it used to live, just there. And that's where the spoon went. Now it's just vitamins, as they say in America. It's now Thursday the 9th, which is day nine. I'm so glad I started it on the first, uh, by accident. 
Um, I think I'm sleeping better. I'm still waking up earlier than I should, but I'm getting back off to sleep a little bit quicker. So I do think the sort of longer term effects are starting to kick in a little bit now. The difficult part, as you know, obviously I've already mentioned is weekends. So Saturday, Sunday, it's not a case of, oh, I, I must go into a cafe. It's just like, I like going to a cafe. So instead I'm just be like, mm, what can I do? So um, yeah, looking forward to getting these 30 days out of the way so that I can do that. And hopefully the plan will be to just only drink coffee at weekends in cafe. Like people only drink alcohol at weekends. Well, not everybody, but you know what I mean. It's now Saturday the 11th of September, it's the second weekend. Coffee's not an issue at all. I, uh, I think that I'm getting better sleep. I'm not waking up as early for as long. It's now, it's half past seven now. I tend to get up at seven. Well, my alarm goes at seven. Bedroom lights fade on red uh, about 10 minutes before. But I'm always, because I do it every day, I'm always awake at that time. But I never felt that I needed coffee to sort of kickstart my day. I was never one of these people that was always tired until I had it. I just feel that my quality of deep sleep uh, hasn't been there. So today, um, it's, uh, it, it's fully out of my system now, let's face it. No caffeine for 11 days. I miss the taste of it. It's not like the kick and the buzz from it. I just enjoy what it tastes like. Now, Monday the 13th of September, another weekend out of the way. No more caffeine. I'll keep it brief because the church bells are dinging. Just about to have a big pile of ham salad. Um, I think today I've been really feeling the fogginess of it. The fogginess, like, I think it's really ripping out my system now. And my brain's desperately trying to get me to sort of, oh, just have a coffee, just have one. I'm like, nope, not doing it. So they reckon that coffee helps give you focus, and I agree with that. But apparently after about two weeks or so, you start to really feel the benefits. Definitely sleeping deeper, having really weird dreams but I am definitely seeing it through, but looking forward to the 1st of October when I can drink that uh, first cup of coffee. It's the 19th today. So I don't know how many more updates I'll do because I, I only tend to sort of record them when I notice a change. And there's been quite a few days of just the same, uh, to be honest. But every night I feel like I'm in a really vivid, weird dream. I was like, my brain is more relaxed. So that's a good thing, isn't it? Well, September's over, it's now October. What have I learned? I've learned that I don't need coffee to survive. I'm perfectly happy without it. I can sleep deeper, I think. Not a lot else, really. I don't, my brain doesn't feel that different. But I do find that when I'm on coffee, the focus is definitely there. You can just focus better. So, as it's the first, let's go run it. I'm gonna go to uh, Nero and get myself a large cappuccino and some chocolate covered coffee beans. And I'm very excited about it. It's now Friday, the 15th of October. I wanted quite a lot of time to pass. And I'll get to the point quickly. I don't think it benefits you in any other way other than it's a mental challenge to resist something that you like. I think that everything that we enjoy doing, we're kind of addicted to. I do think I got deeper sleep, yeah. But even now I'm drinking, again, not going mad, two coffees a day through the week, maybe a couple more at a weekend. I'm still sleeping. I can still sleep and still dream. I still wake up at around five o'clock, but I was doing that when I'd quit the coffee anyway. Um, I think my mind on coffee is more focused than off coffee when it's a little bit more, it's, it's harder to get focused onto a single task with work, with gym, with everything. So, and again, the, the benefits you get from it, and you know, like if you, if you Google it, it's like, I think you live, you, generally people who drink coffee live longer, things like that. I just think it's worth, giving it up to give it a go to see if you can if you can do the challenge like it is giving up alcohol giving up sugar giving up anything that you like having all the time but in the long term I just don't think it's worth me doing it I think I like it I enjoy it but I don't think it's like causing me a problem through my life I don't think it's like hurting me uh, and I really look forward to having it but I'm not at that stage of staying up too late so I'm tired so I have to have a coffee to make me catch up I'm not in that death loop it was quite a good hard reset um, and I wasn't in that loop anyway. I have a coffee at eight, I have a coffee at 10. That's it all day. The weekend I drink up to about three, uh, three o'clock. So three or four coffees maybe, sometimes five. But again, I'm not laid awake because of it, you know. So that's what I think anyway. Give it a go, see what you think. I don't know if you'll see anything different, any changes, anything amazing. But I just think it's a good challenge to say that thing that I really like doing every day that I do first thing when I wake up I'm not going to do it so that's what I think is it worth giving up not really take care now bye bye then